So you stay here. You hang out for a little bit and you see how it feels. And you find your breath. Inhale deep. You stay right where you're at. Don't do what I'm doing. Exhale deep. Inhale. And exhale. And we've got three more breaths here, but listen. Pick your toes up off the mat and push down a lot with the four corners of your feet. Bend your knees if you need, but know you're working toward starting to extend them. Take your right foot back. Stay right here in this little runner's lunge. Same thing, flex your toes, pull them up off the ground so you can push down more with your left foot. Cool. Now play with coming up and going down. You're finding your balance, your mobility. And we're here for a few breaths, so listen. Push your right heel back. Pull your left hip back. Then the top of the back thigh up. Last one, sink down lower. Oof. Cool. Drop your back knee down. Same thing. You just kind of hang out right here. You can sway front and back. Walk your left foot even more forward so your knee doesn't come over your ankle. Yeah. So not this, but this. So stay here. Breathe. You can move around some. Listen, keep pushing the front foot down. Push down with the top of your back foot. If you can't, you gotta tuck the toe, that's fine. Just work toward taking it down. Your heel, shift it to the left. So this side. Yeah, straightens you out. Cool, last breath. When you exhale, fold over. You can sway around, feel. Like that's what yoga is, is feeling and learning from your body. That makes it different than just stretching. So when there's a really tight spot, what do you do? You exhale, don't force it. You already do a lot of things that are like forcing and power. This is like you chill and you send an exhale to it. Last little bit here. If it sounds fun, walk your hands to the left. Sway your toes left and right. So a little example. If I feel tight and my toes go to the left, and I pull my left hip back, I sit and exhale. And I get a little deeper. So come back out. Tuck your back toe. Back foot meets the front. Fold again, just feel. Find your breath. This time, L. That's the shape we're going for. Hands on thighs, lift your toes off the earth, push your feet down. Find length from your tailbone out the crown of your head. Pull your shoulders down. Breathe right here. It should feel intense, you should be working. And then the next breath, left foot goes back this time. Find your runner's lunge, push down a lot with your right foot. Push your left heel back. Play with taking your hands off the ground. If you're wiggling, push down more with your feet. That's the answer. Find stability. Squeeze your legs together. Remember those cues. Back of the thigh up. Sink your hips down more. Right hip back. Last big breath. And exhale. Drop left knee down. Hang out here, play around, find your mobility. 
where the areas that are tight, go to them and, and exhale. Let's, let's it. exhale. Walk the foot forward as you need. Ground your feet. Right here might be pretty tight. Exhale, sink. And then pull the hips back. Find your play here. I'm going to move, but you stay right where you are, swaying, stretching. Maybe you don't want to move, maybe you want to be still because you feel like it's weird this way around. That's fine too. But you keep breathing. But don't forget your like groundedness. That's your pushing down, that's where you find your power. So you can push into something and so that something else can, can make it stretch. Next breath, lift your back foot. Just playing, lift your back knee. Back foot forward. One more full, biggest one yet. So lengthen, big inhale, find your L. Biggest fold, exhale. We're actually gonna do one more. Lengthen, inhale. Biggest exhale, fold deepest point. Hands down, walk your feet back. Drop your knees down wide, toes together. Child's pose, look at me. This is the shape that you're going for. You may look more like this. That's fine too. I'm gonna move you stay right where you are. So breathe and try to find like a little bit of comfort here. If it's uncomfortable, maybe it feels good. But find your rhythm of breath. And then once you've got to that place, imagine somebody has a hold of like your hip points or your low back and they're pushing back and down. And then reach your hands forward a lot and then feel the length in your back from where the tailbone's pulling back and down and the arms are reaching forward. Mm, that's where the good stuff is. So breathe there. It's probably tight. It's probably a stretch. It's probably a lot. So send your breath there. One more big breath. Inhale, come up. Then go to your plank pose. We're not there for long, it has purpose. So when you're in a comfortable plank, pull your hips up and back. This is down dog. That's how you know the length of your down dog. So take a breath here, notice how it feels. And then you drop your knees right back down. So listen, this is hands, this is ribs. Push your hands down, and then weight is forward. Just lift your wrists up. And then back down, and then back up. Down, up, down, up. Maybe this is easy, it takes a lot of wrist strength, but maybe it's hard, so work on that. So when you're in down dog, you're not pushing into your wrists or the heel of your hand. It's in your fingers. Go to down dog again, hips up and back. Bend your left knee a lot. Breathe. Switch, bend your right knee a lot. Switch, just a couple more breaths right here. Imagine someone has a hold of your hips again. This time they're pulling them toward the top of the back wall. Find that same length. You stay right there. Find the length, length, length in your spine. And then exhale, drop your knees down. Take your knees together, feet wide. Sink back. Oof. So if you're not, you know, very flexible, uh, in these areas, this is a lot. Just breathe into it, don't force yourself. You may be up here, that's fine. Yeah, take one more breath. And then back to tabletop. 
finally something that feels good, actually. So, hands under shoulders, knees under hips, check yourself. Make sure your heels aren't out like this. Your heels are holding toward each other. Cat cow. So we start with cow. Pull your belly down, chest forward. Push down a lot with your hands, a lot with your feet. If the toes are tucked, it's okay. And you hold right here. You stay here and you just feel. And you move a little bit with each breath. You get a little bit deeper into it. What I mean by that is your shoulder blades come closer and closer together. Your chest goes farther and farther from the ground. Keep pushing down with your hands. You've got it. You're almost there. Next breath. Push down with your hands to let your back pull up. Tuck your chin. Push down with your knees so that your tailbone can tuck. Same thing, you stay right here, you breathe deep, I'm gonna move, you stay. So there's a lot going on. If you don't feel anything, if you're not kind of like tired by this, then you're not pushing hard enough. And I mean pushing hard enough into the ground, not like trying hard enough. Um, couple, couple breaths, maybe one more, big inhale. Big exhale. Release out. Cool. So sweep your feet to the side. Feet, and then go forward, come to your bottom. Soles of the feet come together. It's just better life. That's it. So you hang out right here, but listen so that you can find your alignment. Breathe. Imagine your sit bones. So it's like your, just your bottom. Push it down and get tall through your head. And then belly down. Yeah. So some of you may be here and that's okay. You're working towards getting taller for your spine and working for this to be less tight. One more big breath here. Cool, bring your knees up. Come to your back. Three more poses. Put your feet down, hip with this one's apart. Hands next to your bottom, palms down. Push your feet into the ground, push your hands into the ground, lift your hips up. This is the first one just to feel it. Push down with your shoulders, down with the back of your head. Shoulders more. Then take it down. Next one. Do it again and you're going to lift and hold. So feel. Now listen to me. Lift your toes off the ground. Push down a lot with the four corners of the feet. Imagine your knees are trying to magnetize together, but they don't move, they don't touch. Imagine your feet are pushing down and pulling away from each other. That should fire up your glutes. And then your chest lifts towards your chin, your chin lifts. Do so you find this in your upper back? It's opening up your shoulders. Yeah, take one more breath. And then lower down. Lift your knees up, take your feet to the sky to see how this feels, roll your ankles around. Take your hands up, roll your wrists around, wiggle your toes. Bend your knees. Drop your knees to the left. Feel it. And then you adjust. Your right shoulder, it moves so it's on the ground along with the left shoulder. Your knees may come up, that's fine. The twist is in the upper back, not the lower back. Next breath. So you can do this yourself with your right hand or you can just kind of imagine it happening. So your, your neck is long, your chin is tucked. Then imagine someone's pulling your right hip away. That way, away from your face. And then from there, if you want more, imagine your top knee pulling toward the ground. And breathe into the spaces that feel tight. Bring the knee back up. Adjust, switch sides. Drop 
both knees to the right side. Adjust your shoulder. Give yourself plenty of time to settle. And don't make fun of my sweaty armpits. When the left shoulder is down, same thing. You can push your left hip away. Left shoulder down. And then same thing. If you want more of the left knee, it's on top. You can pull for the ground. Upper back, not lower back. And if you're in lower back, then, then probably come out of the pose some more. And it's okay if the legs are extended and you're hanging out here. Bring the knees back up. You can hang out here and sway the knees side to side. So the key here is your low back is on the ground. It's kind of easier to be up here, but low back to the ground. A little sway. Take your feet to the ground, windshield wipers. It's here, it's gonna... You're here for about five more breaths. Thanks for practicing with me. My name's Allison.